Well, they say you should never yell fire in a crowded theatre, but we think it's a great way to go home early. Welcome to The Hump. Well, welcome to The Hump. Of course, joining me today on the panel, the lovely Meg. Hello. Sophie. Hello. And Jason. Jimmy. I am, of course, Jimmy, and let's go to the news. The Australian Road Crew Association had a reunion last Sunday at St Kilda Bowls Club. Many war stories were told, and a moment's silence was observed for Greg Thompson, who passed away recently. Uh, a moving tribute to Eric Robertson, uh, former CEO of Jan's Production Services, was read by Scrooge Madigan. Entech New Zealand hits the road in July with almost double the number of exhibitors planned. 22 firms have signed and the show goes Auckland Wellington Christchurch ending on the 1st of August. That's all. Designed for smaller and mid-sized projects and venues, MA.2 offers advanced functionality with outstanding ease of use. Full tracking backup is available via plug and play networking. The DOT2 range is suitable for most theater, touring, corporate, television, and education lighting environments. Discover the free DOT2 on PC software and the free DOT2 3D visualization software. Test it for yourself. Jace, what's happening in New Gear? You know I love New Gear. Okay, we all love New Gear. And this week I've got some wedges for you. Uh, in particular, JBL VTX M series of wedges. They're a new line from JBL of a premium stage wedge. Uh, they've got uh, neodymium differential drive woofers and D2 dual diaphragm high frequency drivers and a new high frequency image control waveguide, uh, which they are claiming gives you excellent control and gain before feedback. Um, there's two models, the VTX M20 and the VTX M22. Uh, the M20's got dual 10 inch woofers and a 3 inch D2 compression driver and the 22 has got dual 12 inch woofers and a 3 inch D2 compression driver. That's so yes, going to be terrifying. It's going to be pretty, pretty bitey. I'd say two 12s in a monitor. You, yeah. If you can't hear that, then you should really get another job because yeah. you know, you're deaf. Yeah. <laughs> so. Mm. I think that sounds great, but all I can think of is, is like sour cream and chili sauce <laughs> and stuff like I that. I have to and say, I, I, did, I did too. I am kind of hungry. I'm <laughs> but yes, don't try and eat the JBLs. Okay. It won't be good. Okay. Well, it is time to take one last dalliance through Jimmy's world, uh, the place that it is. Uh, in this case, we're going to Bern in Switzerland to check out some very cool projection mapping on an ice hockey rink. Have a look at this. Dragons. Awesome. You can't go wrong with dragons. That is incredible. <laughs> I entered cool, that world. I just, I am, I can't ice skate anyway. It's just, um, <laughs> takes it to a whole new level. Wow. Yeah. I, cool. I could learn to appreciate ice hockey. Yeah. And you know what? That was done in a town of like a little o over 100,000 people. So not a big place. They've mm. you know, got a pretty wicked ice hockey arena. So yeah. yeah. So can that happen on any any field or? Any yeah, place? I mean, if you can get it dark enough and can, can control it, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's some great, I've seen some great pre-show basketball ones of those. Yeah. The ice hockey seems really popular. They seem to really like a big, you know, crazy Projection, you know, projection map thing, thing yeah. pre-show. It's yeah. just, a, just into it. You just need a lot of projector. Who needs mm. the movies anymore? You got shows like this. Like it just keeps on getting better. Yeah. Metallica being from the Bay Area, especially myself, like to hook up with people who are local. Needing a smaller wedge for travel reasons, still keeping the same sonics of the giant Metallica sound was a challenge. 
but not for Meyer, it seems. Very pleased with uh, you know, the duties of guitar and vocals uh, coming through the same wedges, needing to have clarity in both, and this is, this is what happens with Meyer, so. Okay guys, the more time I have, the later I seem to run. So one particular morning, not so long ago, I was running around like a mad woman, turn up at my outdoor exercise area, and I'd forgotten my shoes. Wow. So I kind of had to tiptoe through duck poo and little <laughs> gum nuts, etc. But it made me think, have you guys ever turned up to a gig where you've forgotten something really important? My mm. dignity. Yes, I think we've all left that at home quite a few times. I, I asked this question on CX Facebook page a while back, and some of the responses I got were heartbreaking. Like my favourite one was the you know the person had gotten in the van with all the gear in it, or so they thought. Where they then turned up to the gig and they'd taken the wrong van. <gasps> and it was completely empty. They forgot all the things. Oh like God, there's no been some way. spectacular ones. I think the other really great one I read was someone had a job to install 26 screens and packed their van with all the tools and everything and left all 26 of the screens back in the warehouse. So I don't know if we all work too many hours or... or, or we all have tired have days. You, you done one? Well, I, I forgot my husband once. If that. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Oh, that <laughs> old chestnut. <laughs> yep. Forgot. <It> was. <laughs> yep. I, me and one of my colleagues once turned up to a gig in Threadbow <laughs> with a console and no power supply for it. Oh, oh nice. nice. Yeah, so not, not too far away from everything. No, no, <laughs> just a mere, I don't know, eight hours. <laughs> oh, that's not good. How did you know that? Oh, I don't know. Someone else packed the van. It's always someone, someone else. Someone else. Yeah. We had spares. We had like three spare consoles, so it was okay. But you know. Oh, not good. I um, when I first had my first child, sleep deprived. I walked out the door to go shopping. Oh crap! I've left the baby at home. <laughs> we might cut that bit, but that happens as well. Placenta brain. Do you ever, do you ever like leave the house? And I, I sometimes will leave the house, and you know, I'll have like something that I want to take with me to work or whatever but I, as soon as I'm I'm out of the front door I'll be like oh I forgot this thing I'm not going back for it because that's just like admitting I got it wrong <laughs> how important is it that's that's that's, that's kind of different yeah <laughs> all right and with that we're going to have a look at what's in gearbox this week Jason yes Julius like gorillas in the mist I love 100 strobes in my rig <laughs> indeed doesn't everyone just when you can't possibly have enough rock and roll you can just have some more rock and roll yeah same physical format as the 3000 DMX mm -hmm. but not 3000 watts yeah yeah it's a lot different so this is obviously the Martin Atomic Lead the uh, successor to the old uh, Xenon model uh, and they've really sort of thought about that uh, in, you can actually plop this thing in where your old Xenon would have been run it in the same DMX mode so you can run it with four channels with four channel one. but yeah. This being lead, and you know, this being the 21st century, they've popped a few extras in here. So, well, with that, it's time to sign off. And in fact, this is my final sign off from mm. the Hump and indeed CX Network. I Jimmy, am, what? Yeah, the, you know, I looked over the fence and discovered the grass is greener elsewhere. So, um, yeah. moving found, on. Found someone who'll actually pay you money. No, oh, something like that. <laughs> but they, you won't find a more classier bunch than us. No. Um, no, you're going to beg true. to come back. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But I will miss you guys. Um, thank you. And thank you all. And we'll see you on the flip side. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy.